the evening call to prayer in Istanbul. And the rich cacophony emanating from almost 3,000 mosques suggests the city doesn't especially want for a new one. But then the Hagia Sophia is an old mosque. It's also an old cathedral. And for the last 85 years, a museum, which Turkey secularists have regarded as a fair enough compromise and a reflection of the country's standing as a bridge between continents and cultures. But now the highest court in the land has ruled that the Hagia Sophia be turned back into the mosque it was for 500 years until the end of the Ottoman Empire. This campaigner said, of course Christians are against it, that's natural, but we are Muslims and this land has been governed by Muslims since 1453. But when its doors first opened 900 years earlier in 537 AD, it was, as a Christian Orthodox cathedral, the pride of the Byzantine Empire. Today's Orthodox hierarchy, especially the Greeks, are strongly opposed to the change in status, but given the poor state of relations with Greece, Turkey's President Erdogan may regard that as a bonus. He's always wanted the Hagia Sophia to become a mosque again, to burnish his credentials as a nationalist determined to revive the days of Ottoman glory. Tonight, some of his supporters took to the streets to celebrate the verdict, but the fear now is that the decision will sow the seeds of acrimony between Christians and Muslims, with the conversion of a magnificent unifying symbol into a potentially divisive one. John Irvine, News at 10.